yeah, I wanted to work on uh, Great Lakes water level data and look at that in comparison with um, precipitation uh, across the Great Lakes. I focused on uh, Lake Michigan and Huron, which uh, obviously for the sake of hydrology are the same lake. Um, there's a, there's a, an anomaly that happened in about 1999-2000 era that uh, all of a sudden uh, Great Lakes water level data did not correspond with precipitation data as it had for the last 50 years or so. I take a line graph which has a time element that acts as kind of a metronome of the piece, keeping it going forward. The notes of the piece are uh, the variations in the data, and I just kind of laid the two on top of each other, so to speak. Working with media projects has never been something that I've been particularly comfortable or have a long history of doing. So I knew it had to be relatively uh, beginner level. I actually experimented with a couple different um, sound effects, data points, overlapping data points, overlapping precipitation with um, my data of Great Lakes water levels, uh, seeing how it all sounded. Um, and the sound effects I was working with, I was trying to do a lot with water, naturally, as uh, my graphs all have to do with water. Um, so I was working with dripping water onto surfaces. I had to take a bottle of wine and I'd blow across the top, and it would make that and I uh, put a little water in the bottle and swished it around a little bit to get that little tinkling um, water sound. Uh, the tough decision came when I had to make the call whether to, uh, I could make it sound more musically appealing, like it sounds good to the ear, if I put them all in the same chord. Let's say I put them all to the key of C. That would mean that all the notes, all the data points, would sound good in relation to each other. Um, or I could just trans I could just put it as if it was a as if it was a piano, and each uh, data point is a different key on the piano, uh, and it would you know it's it's not supposed to sound beautiful because it's that's just raw data, and that's actually what I ended up going with, and that's something that came up in my interviews uh, when I was chatting with people multiple times, professionals who uh, are well versed in soundification, is that oftentimes the way that you create your project has a lot to do with what is the message you're trying to convey. And so for me, where I'm purely experimenting with the process of uh, turning data points into sound, sonification. Uh, I, I, I wanted to stay away from trying to make it too pretty, and I opted to keep it instead uh, as just the raw transition, uh, the process of uh, demonstrating uh, to myself and my classmates and, 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 the, and Great Lakes Echo that I was doing the project for, that you can in fact do this. Thank you.